हेलो स्टूडेंट्स मैं सी एस दिलीप चेनानी ना स्टूडेंट्स इन कॉस्टिंग वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर एंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ओके इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर इज कंसर्न विद द मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग हाउ द फॉर्मूलास ऑफ मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इज अप्लाइड दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन आंसर यू विल गेट within a few minutes that what do you mean by marginal costing why we are doing the study of marginal costing what are the benefit of the marginal costing in this lecture we will cover all these basic questions okay before we start from the ppt first of all and i want to give some type, a brief introduction about this chapter that what is the basic of this chapter chapter name is marginal costing chapter name is marginal costing what do you mean by marginal costing when we start any topic then in everybody mind there is one question arises why we are doing study of this what are the meaning of this so just recall your past uh, in economics as your exams of uh, ग्रेड से बी ग्रेड ए एंड बी देर इज अ होल सिलेबस ऑल्सो कंसर्न विद द इकोनॉमिक्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी हैव रीड अबाउट टोटल कॉस्ट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट एंड वी ऑल ऑल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट फिक्स कॉस्ट दीज टाइप ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कॉस्ट इन इकोनॉमिक्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द मार्जिनल कॉस्ट इन इकोनॉमिक्स that if one unit cost is 10 and the second cost is 18 then the difference between these two rupees 8 is regarded as marginal cost am i right or wrong absolutely right when t and minus t and minus 1 when we are using one extra commodity the difference between one extra commodity the cost is regarded as marginal cost okay but in in costing it is a different term every person want to calculate profit every person want not every person want to earn profit every businessman want to earn profit profit is calculated by the way two methods these methods are as and first of all we will did a take sales from the sales we will deduct all the type of variable expenses we will deduct all the type of variable expenses when from the sales variable expenses deducted we will get contribution what is the margin what is the margin it is regarded as contribution when in the contribution we will deduct fixed cost thereafter we will reach at the point of profit one method is this and the another method sales from sales we will deduct all the type of cost cost on two types variable and the other is fixed cost and after from sales when we deduct cost at the last we will get profit now all student questions is there sir we arise at a point of profit the profit is always equal in both methods right both profit is equal according to the businessman but these are not equal actually this method is related with marginal costing and this method is related with absorption costing now what is the marginal costing and what is the absorption costing in a marginal costing fixed cost always fixed either sale increases either sale increases or decreases 
फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑलवेज सेम बट इन द एब्जॉर्बन कॉस्टिंग इफ सेल डिक्रीजेस फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑल्सो डिक्रीजेस इफ सेल इंक्रीजेस फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस एज पर द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ सेल्स मीन्स इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड मार्जिनल फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट जस्ट अ सेकेंड फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट मीन्स फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑलवेज फिक्स बट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट कोस्ट ऑलवेज चेंज एज पर सेल्स बट इन एब्जॉर्शन कॉस्टिंग फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट बॉथ चेंज बॉथ चेंज एज पर चेंज इन सेल्स these are the basic main difference between the marginal and absorption costing now how would i clarify it just take clarifying by an example just leave it here total goods sold total goods sold that is 1 lakh units sale price sale price is 30 per unit. Sale price is 30 per unit. And variable cost. Variable cost is 18 rupee per unit. rent of the building rent of the building 1 lakh now you need to calculate profit we know there are two methods we know there are two methods one is the marginal costing method and the other is this is marginal costing and this is absorption costing okay just look at here how the profit is calculated in this first of all we will take sales 1 lakh multiplied by 30 that is 30 lakh less variable cost less variable cost that is 18 per unit when 18 multiply by 1 lakh that is 18 lakh when from the sales variable cost is deducted then we will get contribution that is 12 lakh now from this 12 lakh we will deduct all the type of fixed cost then we will get profit fixed cost is 1 lakh now profit is 13 lakh sorry 11 lakh now what about absorption costing it say that sales that is 30 lakh from sales we will deduct all the type of cost first variable cost then fixed cost variable cost 18 lakh fixed cost 1 lakh how it is arises us look at here it is given 1 lakh so 19 lakh then total profit that is 
11 lakh it's same now your question is that sir in both cases profit is equal 11 lakh 11 lakh then what is the basic difference just now think if a good sold 1 lakh unit in place of 1 lakh unit only 90,000 goods are sold in case of 15,000 1 lakh goods sold 19,000 now what to do just look at here same treatment first of all sales how many units are sold 90,000 90,000 multiplied by 30 27 lakh less variable cost how much variable cost 90,000 multiply by 18 90,000 multiply by 18 just multiply it 16 lakh 20,000 then how much contribution we will get 10 lakh 80,000 less fixed cost that is 1 lakh then overall profit 9 lakh 80,000 now in the absorption costing sales sales is 20 lakh 7 lakh less variable cost sorry less cost First of all, variable cost, then we will deduct fixed cost. Variable cost is 18 rupee per unit. 18 multiplied by 19,000, 16 lakh 20,000. Now, what about fixed cost? According to absorption costing, if units are sold less, then fixed cost also charge less. Means fixed cost total 1 lakh. Fixed cost total 1 lakh. These are on 1 lakh unit. These are only, these are on 1 lakh unit. We sold only 90,000 units. So fixed cost only 90,000. So how much profit we will get? We will get 9 lakh 90,000. 9 lakh 90,000. Now check it. There is a difference. Here is nine lakh eighty thousand. Here is nine lakh ninety thousand. Actually, in absorption costing method, costing method, fixed cost always charge as per sales. means if sales are high fixed cost also high if sales are less then fixed cost also less but in a marginal costing if Sales are high, sales are less, or sales is equal in both the in three condition fixed cost always same. Fixed cost always same whatever a businessman want to do a businessman always thinks about fixed cost that either sale increase or either sale decrease we have to pay fixed cost either sale increase either fixed cost 
either sale decreases but if we take any type of factory on rent if we take any type of factory on rent then tell a thing tell me a thing rent is increase or decrease on the behalf of production or not no rent is always fixed so in marginal costing a fixed rate of rent charge but in the absorption costing method there is no need to charge fix on the basis of fix all the expenses treated as variable okay clear every businessman want to recover their fixed cost first because profit is decided on the behalf of variable cost if sales high obviously variable cost also high if sales less variable cost also cost also less so marginal costing method always used when marginal costing is uses when demand of product demand of product is not certain so in this condition businessmen manufacturer always want that they will recover their fixed cost as soon as possible that's why they charge a fixed cost always fixed okay profit is decided by the help of variable and sales clear now tell me any query till now have you all clear what is the marginal cost and what is the absorption cost now look in the slides we are talking about marginal costing marginal costing is the accounting system in which variable cost is charged to cost unit and fixed cost or the period to be write off in the full against the aggregate contribution as i told you as i told you every person want to charge variable cost as per the production but fixed cost always be write off in full against the contribution its special value is a decision making this technique of costing is known as variable costing also this is also regarding as differential costing it is also regarded as out of pocket costing now what about absorption costing absorption costing is a method of costing by which all the direct cost applicable overhead are charged to the product or cost center to finding out the total cost of production absorbed cost include production cost as well as the administration and the other cost it is a principle where fixed cost as well as variable cost are allotted to cost unit that is full cost charge on the production no need to increase or decrease fixed cost as per the fixed cost always charge as per the proportion of production okay now look at here how fixed cost 1 lakh on 50000 units in a marginal cost if only 40000 units are sold then fixed cost equals to 1 lakh always if 40000 50000 80000 in marginal costing fixed cost always fixed but in absorption costing per unit fixed cost that is 2 rupee per unit cost 2 rupee so on 40000 amount charge 80000 on 50000 1 lakh on 60000 fixed cost 120 it's change as per the level of production as or as per the level of sales clear now there is a difference between the absorption costing and in the marginal costing now look at look at and listen very very carefully if 
एक्चुअल आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू दी नॉर्मल आउटपुट देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रॉफिट इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इक्वल टू द एब्सॉर्शन कॉस्टिंग इफ एक्चुअल आउटपुट इज हाई इन कंपेरिजन ऑफ नॉर्मल आउटपुट then marginal cost profit is higher than the absorption costing if actual output is less than the normal output then marginal costing profit is less than the actual ab absorption costing this is all the basic difference okay now we are talking about two methods these are we have two methods first of all marginal costing and here is absorption costing in a marginal costing fixed cost always equals to fixed cost incurred fixed cost actually incurred in this fixed cost always equals to the fixed cost incurred divided by normal output multiplied by actual output okay in this profit maximum time lower in this profit may be higher it is used at the time of demand may be decrease in future decrease in future in this demand increase in future okay now we are talking about income statement we just completed first sales sales minus variable cost then we will get contribution from the contribution we will deduct all the type of fixed cost then we will get profit okay in this sales sales minus total cost which is compromise of fixed cost plus variable cost and last we will get profit these are the income statement in the both cases okay now just look at again total cost total cost compromise of the two things direct cost and indirect cost direct cost are of three types first direct material direct labor and direct expenses indirect cost are also two types either variable either fixed 
when we will add direct material plus direct labor direct expenses and variable overheads when these all are added then this is regarded as variable cost these are regarded as variable cost when this 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 and variable overheads added then variable cost and fixed overhead are totally different as one more chart is there total cost equals to always total cost total cost is equals to variable cost plus fixed cost where here total cost equals to direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses plus variable overheads plus fixed overhead when we total these four then it is regarded as variable cost plus fixed overhead and here variable cost plus fixed cost from variable cost we will deduct variable cost so we can say that all the fixed cost always equals to fixed overhead but all the variable cost is not equals to the variable overhead okay now we are talking about marginal cost we are talking about marginal cost marginal cost also regarded as variable costing marginal cost is also regarded as variable costing in this first of all we will take sales how the sales is compromised quantity quantity multiply by quantity multiply by rate from this we will deduct all the type of variable cost then we will get from the sales when we deduct variable cost how the variable cost is fine quantity multiply by variable cost per unit when from the sales we will deduct variable cost then we will get contribution then from the contribution we will deduct all the type of from the contribution we will deduct all the type of fixed cost and then we will get profit okay now in the marginal costing cost is divided into two parts in the marginal costing cost is divided into two parts and these parts are as under this is variable cost and there is fixed cost variable cost and fixed cost okay if we talk about variable cost variable cost direct charge to sale because it is always deducted from the sales and fixed cost always charged to contribution it is charged to contribution second difference is contribution here is difference is sales different is profit third Variable cost is not 
equals to variable overhead whereas fixed cost always equals to fixed overhead okay now it is the basic concept of marginal costing now we are going to do one or two type of practical questions of uh, this then we will continue more further for it okay just look at here prepare income statement illustration number one we are doing prepare income statement where sales quantity sold it is given as under sales how much quantity we sold 10000 units per unit cost selling price per unit that is 100 okay material cost per unit that is 30 labor cost per unit 20 direct expenses per unit 5 variable overhead per unit 5 sorry 15 and last it is given fixed cost 1 lakh you have to prepare an income statement just do that first of all we write sales sales how much 10,000 multiplied by 100 that is 10 lakh from this we will deduct all the type of expenses how many type variable cost now variable cost this 30 included this 20 this 5 this 15 total 70 10,000 multiplied by 70 that is 7 lakh what we are doing from the sales we will deduct all the type of variable expenses then we will get contribution just look at here 10,000 multiplied by 30 am i right from the 100 when we'll deduct 70 then we will get 3 lakh from contribution we will deduct all the type of fixed cost that is 1 lakh so we'll get profit 2 lakh okay clear question number one is okay for all now question number two these all questions are included in PDF file. Question number two. Listen very, very carefully. What is the question number two? Now, question number two. It is very, very important. If these questions we have cleared, then whole chapter is completed automatically look look at it marginal costing method you have to do okay what are the information information is as under that is material cost material cost is 40 rupee labor cost 30 rupee Fixed overheads, fixed overhead 5 rupee, fixed administration overheads, fixed administration overhead that is again 5 rupee, variable factory overhead that is 15 rupee, sorry 12 rupee, selling overheads. Selling overheads that is 20 rupee out of which 70% fix. They sold sales 10,000 units, 
एट दी रेट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड ईच नाउ लुक एट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सेल्स टेन थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू हंड्रेड दैट इज टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू हंड्रेड दैट इज ट्वेंटी लैक सॉरी Now less variable cost material forty thirty rupees labor then twelve rupees variable overheads plus six rupees here how seventy percent fix twenty seventy percent fix then thirty rupees variable. थर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाय ट्वेंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाय थर्टी परसेंट दैट इज सिक्स रुपी टोटल फोर्टी एंड थर्टी सेवेंटी नाइनटी टू नाइनटी टू एटी टू एटी एट मीन्स टेन थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय एटी एट दैट इज एट लैख एटी थाउजेंड सो प्रॉफिट सॉरी no profit there is a contribution there is contribution how much 11 lakh 20000 from this we will deduct all the type of variable expenses we will deduct all the type of variable expenses no again there is a mistake we will deduct all the type of fixed cost That is fixed cost. Five rupee per unit here is given. Five rupees per unit here given. Ten and fourteen, twenty four per unit multiplied by ten thousand. That is two lakh forty thousand. So we will get profit. How much profit we will get? Eight lakh eighty thousand. Clear? Tell me fast. Is it clear or not? Take shall ye. Question number three. Write it properly. A uh, sales is given. A uh, amount is given for three years: two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen. Total overheads. Total overheads one lakh fifty thousand, one lakh seventy thousand for two thousand nineteen. We don't know quantity sold or produce quantity. Here ten thousand units, here twelve thousand units, here fifteen thousand units. Sale price. सेल प्राइस हंड्रेड रुपी पर यूनिट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट मैटेरियल कॉस्ट मैटेरियल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट दैट इज थर्टी लेबर कॉस्ट पर यूनिट दैट इज ट्वेंटी नाउ लिसन इन द टोटल ओवरहेड वी नीड टू डू सॉल्यूशन वी नो दैट इन द टोटल overheads we always include variable overhead plus fix overhead and variable cost compromise material labor plus variable overhead in this question only total overhead is given so we have to calculate variable overhead as well as fix overhead now how we calculate it just look variable overhead per per unit there is a formula what is the formula change in total overhead divide by change in quantity just look at here now change in total overhead that is 50 20000 
change in quantity 2000 so variable overhead per unit 10 rupee cross tally if we talk about 2017 how many units are produced 10000 multiply by 10 variable overhead that is variable overhead that is 1 lakh if total overhead 1 lakh 50000 if just a second if total overhead 1 lakh 50000 variable overhead 1 lakh then how much fixed overhead obviously 50000 just a cross tally in 2018 variable overhead plus fixed overhead equals to total overheads variable overhead 12000 multiply by 10 plus 50000 is it equal to 170 so in this question now we if we want to solve it then just look sales here we are preparing income statement sales is given 100 units multiply by 15000 15 lakh less variable cost how much 30 rupee material 20 rupee labor and 10 rupee variable overhead variable cost is always compromise material cost labor cost plus variable overhead that is material cost 30 plus 20 plus 10 total 60 so 60 multiply by 15000 units that is 9 lakh that is 9 lakh when from sales we will deduct contribution we will get 6 lakh now we have to less all the type of fixed cost or we can say fixed overhead that is 50,000 then how much profit we will earn profit is 5 lakh 50,000 clear these three type of questions we have to do and we have make a clear that how the profit is calculated now moving to the next slide just look at what is the format in marginal costing first of all sales from sales we will deduct all the type of variable cost then we will get contribution from the contribution we will deduct fixed cost we will get profit now here look at there are two formulas for contribution how the contribution is calculated we have two formulas that is sales minus variable cost or if in profit we will add fixed cost then we will again get contribution just look at here contribution sales minus variable cost or fixed cost plus profit clear tell me fast now if we talk about pv ratio now what is the pv ratio what is the profit volume ratio in comparison of in comparison of contribution what is the amount of sales in comparison of sales what is the amount of contribution so PV ratio is always calculated contribution upon sales multiply by 100 contribution divide by sales multiply by 100 contribution how the contribution is calculated we know that from the sales when we will deduct variable cost divide by sales into 100 one more formula sales minus variable cost divide by sales into 100 one more formula is 
from the contribution uh, from the when we fix cost we will add in profit then we will get contribution divide by sales into 100 so pv ratio formula c upon s into 100 sales minus variable cost into 100 and fixed cost plus profit divided by sales into 100 if we talk about pv ratio if we talk about pv ratio there are more than formula change in profit divided by change in sales multiply by 100 okay moving to the next slide Now there is a BEP, break even point. Every firm want, they no need to want any type of profit. They don't want to earn any type of profit. They just want, it is a point where cost is always equals to sale price. So this is a situation where no profit when no loss. BEP can be calculated by two ways. BEP can be calculated by two ways. BEP, break even point, either in units, either in rupees. If we talk about in units, then fixed cost divided by contribution per unit, either if rupees, then fixed cost divided by PV ratio. By this, we will get, by this, we will get break even point it is a point where profit is always there is no profit and no loss there is one more point is there that is margin of safety that is margin of safety means we need to sell exactly more than the we need to sell exactly more than the bp because at bp there is no profit no loss so in this situation a firm always want to increase their sales so margin of profit is a point where organization feels safe. If they sell at that point, they will get some profit. They will get their all the cost, all things. The difference between actual sales and BEP sales is regarded as margin of safety. Okay, students, this is first lecture of marginal costing. In next class, we will cover something more. Thank you all.